What's up guys, it's Intense Investor here coming at you again. Uh, tonight I wanna to talk about a problem that I get sometimes with pre-search that happens with my nodes sometimes. And if you go and look at your nodes, you'll notice they're not connected. You'll see the little green sockets missing. I just wanted to make a quick little video on how to repair that. Like if it didn't do the update, you see how the other ones are on the current version of 0.9.61 and the ones without the socket showing meaning they're connected uh, or they're not connected it's 0.9.60 they're still stuck on the old version so I need to run putty and I need to run the repair code which I'm going to include include in the description so you can run it if you encounter the same thing and it'll update the node it'll force it to repair and, and update so I figured that was important because this has happened a couple of times to me. So if you did buy the Rack Nerds uh, VPS, like I talked about in my last video when I was talking about how to set up pre-search, I recommend you watch that if you have not set up a pre-search node yet because uh, this is a little bit more of an advanced step after you've already set up your node. So check out that video. You'll see it pop up right here. Um, check that out. It's in my video list. Watch it if you want to set up a node um, and everything. So getting back to that, uh, the IP address here, remember I said it's good to put the IP address in the description. That way you can copy it and then you can go into your email and you can search for that, um, that IP address, you know, where they sent you your uh, username and password. Because when you go into Rack Nerds, it's hard to tell sometimes. I ran into this, which uh, VPS is out without knowing the IP address of it. Because it doesn't really show it directly inside the panel. Um, or else I hadn't seen it. Because I looked everywhere in there and I could not find it. So it's a good idea when you buy the VPS, Rack Nerds will send you... An email it'll have your IP address and your password it's a good idea to put that IP address in the description when you first set up the VPS that way if you have to do a repair you can always go back copy it search for it in your email get the IP and the password so we're gonna pull up putty here uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in my email and do all the, get all that stuff you know you'll just have to search in your email for your own IP address and password the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up putty. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I searched it. It's right there. So this one's not connected. I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste. Logging in as root and Linux. So I'm going to get my password really quick. All right. So see the cool thing about that. I copy and pasted the IP address in the search. And bam, there it is right there. Click on the email, pulls up the username and password, copy the password, copy it in putty, right click, hit enter. And when you copy the password, you're not gonna see it in putty right here. So I got my commands up here. The first video I made had to do with the node setup. <clears throat> like I said, you need to watch that if you're wanting to set up a pre-node. If you're just wanting to do the repair, like we're talking about here, like if you're not getting the connection, um, you need to copy this code. I'm going to put it in the description. You don't have to put your registration code in this because the node has already been set up. So you copy this for the repair. You're going to hit copy. Then we're going to go in here where the little prompt is. We're going to right click and see how I paste it. Hit enter. And let's see what happens here. Let's give it a second to kind of go through it sometimes it takes a little bit because as you can see when the blue p is up everything's running right the node's listening um so that means it's hooked up but uh after i pasted that command it took a good three minutes for this to actually run but you know it says pulling from pre-search node already exists pull complete download newer image so that's where it did the update i believe download a newer image for pre-search node to the latest which is right there uh, so let's check it and see if we're still getting that little socket sign not showing up so let me it was this one right here let's refresh it and see if the green little socket comes up 
Yep. So that was it. That's all we needed to do. So I'm going to go through and do this one, this one, this one, and this one, just the same way. We just did this one right here and see if my little green sockets reconnect. And like I said, I'm running the, uh, da, da, da. I'm running this repair for the already set up nodes. Uh, the other video I did probably about a week ago or a couple days ago, can't remember, uh, you know, we did the node setup, which, which used this code right here, where you did have to enter your registration code. But because you've already set that up initially um, on the VPS, you don't got to enter it again. You just got to repair it because it obviously has not updated to the correct version. By the newest versions, 0 0.9, 0 0.61, and these are still stuck on 0 0.9, 0 0.60. So if you got a lot of nodes like I do, I definitely look through it and make sure none of them are hung up or stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and update the rest of these and uh, have a quick few words and that'll be it. All right, guys. So that fixed all the pre-search nodes. I ran the command to repair, as you could see, um, and they're all green and connected now. So that's pretty much all you got to do. I uh, just follow that same sequence I just did. I am going to post that repair command in the description. Um, if you are wanting to set up a node, uh, use this node setup command, which I used in the last video I made on pre-search. Um, and I use the Rack Nerds VPS, which if you're interested in any of that, um, there's links in the description um, to get you going. And uh, anyway, uh, that's really all I got for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, it took me a while just to catch on to the Linux commands and stuff and which ones were the correct ones to use. But after you do it a couple of times or even one time, you'll catch on to it pretty quick. But uh, thanks for all the support. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Check out my Twitter, Telegram, Discord groups. Uh, they're starting to thrive a little bit more. But uh, anyway, until next time, have a good week and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.